close with me, Robert. There we go. Recorded for posterity as Dapper enters the ring. The wild man from Bombay once again graces the ring here at PCW Arena. He's from Bombay and he's still dropping bombs. Indeed, and he's... I'm afraid he's about to drop a big bomb on Sexy Steve DeMarco here. Yeah, I, th I think Sexy Steve DeMarco is clearly out of his league tonight. I mean, I don't know what the man was thinking getting in the ring with Sabu, one of the more vicious competitors you will find. I'll tell you what, since Sick and Twisted, Sabu has gone on tour in Japan with Michinoku Pro Wrestling. And my contact in Tokyo, Masanori Horie, has told me that Sabu went through the entire tour and he he had written on his on his tape, his wrist tape, the name DeMarco. So he has been looking forward to this match ever since Second Twisted. Rob, I never knew you you to be the name dropper. I mean, if you want to brag because you have friends in Japan, that's fine. I, I eat sushi myself. But uh, nonetheless, we're seeing a, a beautiful maneuver here. I got to tell you, that's a very Japanese-esque uh, move right there by Sabu. Maybe he picked up the new uh, tools of the trade while he was overseas. Well, indeed, Sabu, an icon in Japan, as was his mentor, the legendary Sheik. And here comes Sabu going to work on sexy Steve DeMarco and I have a feeling that DeMarco's not going to be quite so sexy when this is all said and done. I got to tell you Sabu comes from a very uh, old school uh, wrestling uh, upbringing and I got to tell you I mean I mean just just I mean it's a different style of competitor you get from the old school and the new school I mean very, both very um, both both parties have their high points Robert but to see them clash here in such a huge match tonight I mean we are very privileged to be witnessing this. Sabu in there with a cover and he only gets a two count DeMarco manages to kick out of that. Now now, last time Sabu was here, he had a cast on his left arm to immobilize his elbow because of his torn bicep. However, I did happen to bump into him back in the dressing room area, he, and you can see, obviously, he is not wearing that big cast this time around. He's He's got that arm taped up. You bumped into Sabu? I bumped into Sabu, and I apologized oh, very okay. profusely. I, was about I said, to say. I, I'm sorry, sir. I'm very sorry, sir. Yeah, sexy and he, he, he just looked at me and walked on. Yeah, Sexy Steve DeMarco, obviously, at a bitter end right now. He uh, seems to be uh, leaving the arena. Oh, DeMarco. Going here? Well, he's going behind the timekeepers. Oh, he's got a chair. Yeah. He's going into a war of chairs with Sabu. You yeah. better watch it. Yeah, that's like bringing a knife to a gunfight, Robert. You don't want to mess with the master. I got to tell you, if there's anybody that knows their way around a foreign object, and that is Sabu right there. Absolutely, and well, let's see what. Well, Steve DeMarco set up that chair, and look at this. He's he's sitting down and got that side headlock on Sabu. Good Lord Almighty. He's That's make, the first. He's making it look easy. I mean, he's whipping his butt while he's having a seat. But look at this. Back suplex by Sabu. Getting him out of that headlock from DeMarco. And it is Sabu going in with a stomp. And now he knows what to do with it. Oh, my. Threw it right at DeMarco. Look at this. Sabu on top with a cover, too. And only a two count. Sabu with a right hand and another right hand. Sabu, man, he is red hot going into this match here. Look at this fine clothesline off the second rope. I mean, look at him move, how, how graceful he moves about the ring, Robert. That is a man that's, that really knows his way around these four corners. And now we've got a variation of the camel clutch on Steve DeMarco. And Sabu, as fine a practitioner of the maneuver as anybody in the business. Yeah, the Sheik, I mean, Iron Sheik, whomever. I mean, who else better to learn from, you know? Absolutely. And Sabu with a stomp. And DeMarco is getting the heck out of Dodge. Out on the floor, Sabu in the ring. Well, you see what DeMarco's doing here. He comes in the ring for a few moments. Sabu kicks his butt around. And then he goes back out of the ring for a few moments, gets his little wits about him. Then he comes back in, gets his butt kicked for a few minutes. I mean, it's an ongoing cycle. I mean, pretty much we know what's going to happen the rest of the evening. And here comes Sabu with a baseball slide onto DeMarco. DeMarco almost goes into the front row, and now Sabu helps him all the way. Uh-oh, we've uh -oh. seen this. Oh, get that chair, big fella. We've hey. seen this before. He's calling for chairs, and the fans are giving him chairs. Someone just tossed him one, and he's got it set up. And another chair. Oh, yeah. boy. Steve DeMarco. Oh, my gosh. He, he's got, Steve he's got the chair. Oh, my God. DeMarco had a chair. He, he must have known what was coming, Robert. I mean, DeMarco, to his credit, is not a foolish man. Uh, 
Well, he may be foolish, but he's not, uh, you know, ignorant. He knew the, the strength of Sabu and, and what he can do with the foreign object, namely the chair. And uh, I got to tell you, he was ready for it. But I tell you, the counter may have taken out both competitors. Not so much. Here we go again. Fist flying, Robert. They are fighting almost in the front row, fans, on the wrong side of the barriers. And now Sabu comes back. Oh, DeMarco throwing a chair in there. And now here comes Sexy Steve over the railing. And oh, my. Hit him squarely in the head with that one. Under the ring, you know, I mean, because that's just the kind of guy he is. I, I wouldn't want to go through it. You know, it's just a matter of time. Sabu clotheslining DeMarco, and now Sabu's going to set up the table. And you know how devastating the man can be with a table in his hands. I think he's going to set up DeMarco for something that, well, on top with a cover and... Only a two count. Steve yeah. DeMarco just barely got out. Just two. You need three. Right in the boys. Steve DeMarco delivering a crushing blow to the family jewels of Sabu. DDT by DeMarco. And Steve DeMarco very proud of himself right now. Going on top of Sabu for the cover. One, two, and it's almost three, but as, not quite. As he should be, Rob. Sexy Steve DeMarco should be very proud of the pack. Uh, the fact that uh, Sabu has Oh, sexy kick, and huh. Sabu's on the table. He should be very proud of the fact that Sabu hasn't pinned his ass already. Oh, look out. I think DeMarco's going to go airborne. I it think he's going to try to put Sabu happen. through that it table. Is, it is not going to happen, Robert. I mean, hold, go ahead and start holding your breath. Oh, you Sabu know. is off the table, and there it goes. <laughs> See, well, I like what he did there. He knocked the table over and then gave him a nice punch to the ribs. <laughs> Just set up the table. I told you, Rob. I mean, that's the last fool. Sabu is the last guy you want to mess with. Oh, the table look out. The DeMarco. Just missed the table. He didn't miss it. Sabu threw his butt over it. And now Sabu coming off the table with a leg drop. And look at this. Two. And not a three count. DeMarco got that shoulder up. Sabu has got something in mind for the table and for Steve DeMarco. Hard right hand by homicidal, suicidal, genocidal Sabu. Yeah, reversal the of the whip. The crowd Another chanting reverse. his name, Rob. Yeah, Indeed nice. they are. Irish Rip uh, crushing to the midsection right there. It's like Steve DeMarco was the edge of that table. Sabu making his way to the top rope, Rob. Well, he's, he's got that hand, chair. Yeah, a, a, a chair in his hand, a metal chair. Oh, my God! An inverted Arabian face buster through the table! Inverted, ladies and gentlemen. The face buster uh, from the school of Arabia. I got to tell you, one of the more uh, excruciating maneuvers to take. Sabu has put Steve DeMarco through the table on top with the cover. Two and oh my God. I thought that was the end of the match right there, man. Rick Manning normally, uh, you know, I mean, his, his one, two, three count is pretty average as far as you know, the, the timing in between. He does it uh, as, I mean, he's the dean of all referees. He's not going to cut anybody short. But I got to tell you, I thought we had a three count right there, Rob. Oh my gosh. He was going for the triple jump moonsault, but DeMarco tripped him up and tripped him up right into that chair. Yeah, very nice maneuver by by sexy Steve DeMarco at the last moment grabbing the foot of Sabu as he made his way over him and uh, not allowing him to complete the maneuver. And DeMarco went in for the pin, but Sabu managed to kick out. Good Lord, this is anybody's ball game here. And oh my, Sabu has just been sexified. I got to tell you, hats off to you, Steve DeMarco. I mean, I've witnessed him play a lot of dirty pool and win by with a lot of dirty reasons. But no quit left in this warrior tonight, Rob. Yeah. I mean, he needs to quit wearing those pants. That's yeah. one thing he needs to quit, but he's not a quit fight. There's, I mean, he, by no means he's going to quit the fight. And DeMarco's got a chair laying flat down in the ring, and San Sabu face first into it. Good grief. Is he pointing upstairs, or is he trying to do Sabu's pose? I'm not quite sure what he's doing. He's screaming at the fans. I know that for sure. Oh, uh, what's new? Well, let's see what he's going to do. I, yes, it looks like he's going to go up top. Up on the top. Oh! He met the chair in midair. Sabu what? on top with a cover, two, and no, no, no. Oh, my gosh. Both competitors refusing to give up. Nice kick to the midsection from Sabu. He refuses to let go of that chair, Rob, as he climbs upstairs yet again. We might as well have an elevator installed. These fellas just cannot stay off the top oh rope. Oh, my God. Top rope. Of God, an Arabian face buster. That has got to be it. Two and three, and that's it. Sabu wins. 
because as I said, DeMarco ju just wrestled yeah. one hell of a match against Sabu. I got to tell you, I don't like to put my nose where it doesn't belong, but DeMarco is a foolish man if he doesn't shake the hand of Sabu.